Hey, patrons. Thanks for being a patron. Ty Tojo has agreed to come on and do a little bonus interview for you. And Ty, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about your practice routine, um, kind of what that looks like. What's uh, an hour with Ty Tojo practicing juggle? So currently I just uh, learned from another fellow juggler some practice tips. So now I'm basically using them as my own now. And I, uh, when I go out there, I take just one ball <laughs> and I start to throw it to my other hand, back and forth, back and forth in like the, the three ball uh, height. And then after I feel confident in that, I go up to the five ball height, seven ball height, nine ball height, uh, until I'm making those throws as perfect as possible. And then I move to two balls, and I, I do the same thing with three balls as well. And so that's how I start my practices these days, just getting my patterns as perfect as possible and my throws as perfect as possible. Uh, once I'm done with that, I play around with five balls, just my arms up, do some five ball up pirouettes, five ball half turns, five ball half turns, five ball half turns over and over. Uh, I just learned Mills Mess, so I'm. I practice Mills Mess <laughs> for a little bit. I I basically just practice new things that I want to learn for, I don't know, 15 minutes each. Then I move on to the next thing, move on to the next thing, move on to the next thing, and uh, that's how I do it. But I focus fully on the things that I want to learn, and hopefully I'm learning them the right way because. I don't watch too many videos, so I don't have so many references. But yeah, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, how much time do you usually spend on one trick in one session? Um, fifteen minutes, maybe more if I'm really motivated. But I think it's good to keep it short. So I learned from watching some of Anthony Gatto's practice videos mm -hmm. <laughs> just to move from one thing to the next thing to the next thing, improve them a little bit each time, and then eventually each each of those things will will uh, be mastered mm -hmm. in time. <laughs> cool. Um, and as far as back crosses go, um, obviously you've been doing those for a long time. You mentioned in the in the other interview that that was something you discussed with your stepfather about what's something you wanted to do. Um, what's that special thing that you were going to do? It was back crosses. So, um, how did that start? How'd you start learning back crosses? Uh, I don't really remember. <laughs> I was really young. Well, and my memory is not so good, I think. Mm -hmm. So I'm not quite sure how that started or how I started learning but all I know is I, I start well if you're asking me like how I learned back crosses like my practice I just started with one ball throwing it behind my back and hitting a mark on the ceiling hmm. and uh, so I, I had two marks up there and I would try to hit hit them with one ball with each hand and uh, that's that's how I got my technique for throwing the ball behind my back mm. and then I just worked my way up from three to five to seven and then now to nine that's a great that's a great tip um when as you were practicing three you know just the one balls or one ball at a time when you finally put it together and we're doing three balls constantly did you have trouble throwing them too high because you were throwing them at the ceiling all the time uh, yeah. that was just to get my aim perfected, and then always after after that, I would practice, you know, getting the height perfect. Mm. So, to start, I would say doing that is the best. Just hitting a mark on the ceiling every time, and then uh, eventually go away from that and try to focus on the height. Mm -hmm. So, like I don't know, with three balls. If you if you can learn three ball back crosses, 
uh, you try to hit the marks on the ceilings, and then eventually you try to control the height, go from five ball height to seven ball height to even nine ball height, and uh, try to make that as perfect as possible. Um, do you have any strategies for how you catch the ball? How I catch the ball? Um, I guess you want to use the momentum of the ball. So as you're catching the ball, your hand should be going down with it and making like a kind of half circle mm -hmm. uh, and using the momentum of the ball before you throw it back up. Mm -hmm. That's, that's I think, a good technique. And then as, besides that, I mean, if you've been practicing that throw, getting that throw perfect, it's going to be pretty easy because that ball is going to land exactly where you want it to. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, it, the ball it will never land <laughs> exactly where you want it to, but it'll land close enough so that your arms can reach out and grab it mm -hmm. fast enough. Um, have you ever It's tried... not going to be going into the window. <laughs> right. Have you ever tried yeah. doing uh, blind back crosses? Blind? Uh, what do you, you mean like juggling like three with... balls in your back without looking? With like... your eyes closed? Nope, never. I think that would be cool. I think you should do that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Three, what, are you, what are you saying? Three balls, back crosses, with my eyes closed. Yeah. Um, so not looking at the balls at all. Uh, I can do three balls. I think a lot of jugglers can do three balls forward while closing their eyes, but uh, I don't know. I think that, I can try. That, would be, that would be pretty cool new set of records to start setting blind yeah blind back crosses blind, blindfolded doing three ball back crosses mm. three, if, I, if you can do three you can do five right nah <laughs> <it's different>. <laughs> <laughs> one other question that i was wondering ty is um if there was any one person that you could juggle with either now or either someone who juggles currently or somebody from times past who would it be Luke Davies, is that how you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Luke um, Davis. Is it Luke Davis. Davis is how you say it. Luke Davis, yeah. Um, I, I made would, that mistake once too. Cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna leave it nah. in just now, just just because he's. No, nah. <laughs> but Luke Davis, yeah, he he seems like a super nice guy. Yeah. Talked with him a couple times on Instagram, but yeah, I would like to juggle with him. He's really good with balls. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that would be fun. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool dude. Um, he actually, um, I've done a couple interviews with him as well, so you can check those out. Um, and uh -huh. um, he's he did a live thing with Felix the other day um, on Facebook. So if you follow him on Facebook, you might see him do that. Um, okay. But I would love to yeah, see the two of you just, get together. Yeah, for sure. That would be awesome. All right, cool. Well, uh, Ty, thanks again. Thanks again for being with us, and uh, <laughs> thanks for uh, to all the patrons for being patrons. Really appreciate it. Thank you for inviting me. It was really fun. No problem. All right. Um, it was really fun. I don't know. You're barely awake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just chilling, man. <laughs>